Hey YouTube, the air system switching valve is stuck open on my 2011 Toyota Tundra, so we're going to change it. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is get rid of this cover, which just pops off like that. This is the part that we're going to be changing out. This is the switching valve. The valve, which is in here, gets wet from water coming through the air pump. And the pump comes on every time you start the truck. Uh, the water then causes the valve to rust, and when the valve rusts, it eventually can get stuck open or stuck closed. In this case, it's stuck open. It's a pretty common problem with the Tundra. And this is my first time switching out this particular part. So to begin, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket because the first thing we have to do is take all of this stuff here off and get it out of the way. Yep. This piece comes off here, and this is going to have to be, this little uh, arm here is going to be swapped out with the new part sitting on this valve, because we're going to need that again to connect this up. Alright, I'm going to detach this, and then this. Alright. She comes. Okay, now we can remove this hose here carefully. Just move it out of the way, and then this out of the way. And now, here is our valve that we're going to replace this whole assembly here, bank two. So make sure there's nothing in the way. So we got 12 millimeters and 10 millimeters back here that we're going to be taking off. Okay, 12 millimeters right here. There are three bolts. Three bolts. out of the way there are two more bolts right back here there are 10 millimeters and they need to come off for this assembly to come off in addition to this hose there we go this is the actual hose that comes from the pump right here. Okay, there is the old part right there. 
So this is the old valve. So let's take a look and see. I've loosened the screws that hold it together. Let's see the old valve. Quite rusted. Nasty. And so So there is the valve that is completely melted. It's head stuck open, but I don't know how. You can see the moisture in there. It's a very bad design from Toyota. Those air pumps are located in the passenger side wheel well, and they get wet and allow water to come in if you're driving in the rain or if you know they're exposed to water so eventually these things rust and that valve destroys itself so hopefully we got something good going now I have swapped out this little bracket here for the electrical connector to sit on top of and we're gonna put this back where the old one came from this here is the old gasket that was between this end here and the pipe so we're going to put we have a new gasket that came with this part and i'm going to put that on there you're going to have these little tabs facing towards the rear of the truck so you know which way is the correct way for the gasket to sit This is the new gasket, and put that on there. All right, and then again, getting these hoses out of the way. This is the big difference between bank two and bank one. Bank two has got a lot more stuff in the way, but it's basically the same idea. It's basically the same part, and it's basically the same swap. So we want to put this valve, line it up here, and then we're going to begin putting our hardware back in there. Here. Before I tighten everything up, I'm going to I'm going to put this electrical connector here. Get that in there. Before I tighten everything up, I'm going to loosely put the bolts back and then make sure everything is fitted properly. Okay, now we're going to put the hoses back on. And this one here. Get that up there. And that clamp back in there. is going to go right back here. This is the bracket that I took off of the original part. I'm just going to slide that down there. OK. 
can come back on. So we'll put that here. And then let's get this on here. And this vacuum hose goes here. And this hose goes here. Let's check everything, make sure it's fit tight. that's it okay so now we're going to get in the truck and we're going to clear those codes and see how it goes so the very first sign that your air system switching valve is stuck open whether it be on bank one or bank two is going to be your four low light and your traction control off light and your check engine light will all be on at the same time when you hook up your OBD2 code reader, you're going to get code P2442 for bank 2 or P2440 for bank 1. All right, I've cleared the codes. I took the truck for a quick ride around the block, and everything seems to be okay. I've heard that Toyota could charge anywhere from two to $3,000 for the same repair that I just did. If you get a P2442 code coming up because your air system switching valve is stuck open on bank one or bank two, that would be P2440 is bank one, it's an easy fix. It's a few hundred dollars for the part. You do not need to take it to the dealer. It takes a little bit of time. But as you can see, it's really not that difficult. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.